Hi everyone. We are going to discuss about the monoculture and polyculture. First introduction. Uh, first of all we have to know the aquaculture. What is aquaculture? The aquaculture is the forming of aquatic organisms which includes uh, fishes, molluscan items, crustaceans and even aquatic plants. The forming means uh, some sort of intervention which involves in the rearing process to the enhancement of production uh, like uh, regular stocking, feeding, protection from the predators. So all this includes uh, farming. The farming also implies uh, the individuals or the corporate ownership of the stocks which are being cultivated. The planning development and the operational practices of the aquaculture system, even the sites and the facilities and the practices and the production and transport systems. Aquaculture is the organized production of a crab. It may be an animal or a plant in the aquatic medium. So based on the, there are different types of uh, aquaculture systems are there. Uh, based on the number of species to be cultured, the aquaculture is uh, classified into monoculture and polyculture. First one is the monoculture. The monoculture is the culturing of a single species of organism. In this case of aquaculture, a single species of fish are cultured in, in a pond or in a tank or in any other system. That is referred as the monoculture. So in monoculture, uh, various species of uh, uh, spe fishes are cultured. Uh, for example, trout, tilapia, catfish, and corp are also cultured in monoculture system. In general, the fishes are cultured commercially uh, following this method or under an intensive management. Uh, so mainly highly valuable uh, and market oriented fish, uh, fishes are cultured in this type of monoculture system uh, by means of the intensive care then the main objectives of the monoculture is to get a maximum amount of protection and to prevent the species from the extinction uh, through over exploitation. The fish farming is not uh, much dependent on the natural food source in monoculture system. Uh, so through the application of a well balanced or the supplementary feeds, uh, the fishes with a highly marketable species are cultured. Mm, under uh, even under the common practice to management system the fishes are formed using the monoculture method in the seasonal ponds of um, various countries the monoculture is divided into different categories uh, based on the uh, water system first one is the freshwater monoculture Next is the marine water monoculture and third one is the brackish water monoculture. In freshwater, some of the species of fishes uh, like uh, common carp, tilapia species, rainbow trout, catfish uh, like uh, clarius are cultured uh, by means of a monoculture system. Because of marine environment, uh, some of the shrimps like uh, pinea species and some species of fishes like uh, red sea bream, pacific salmon and eel are cultured by means of the monoculture practices. First introduction. Uh, first of all we have to know the aquaculture. What is aquaculture? The aquaculture to the advantages of uh, monoculture method, uh, it is easy to feeding the organism and it also permit the great control over size, age as well as the sex of the organism to be cultured and it is also easy to operate the function and it, uh, the selective harvesting of your marketable fishes can also be employed by uh, this method. And it is also suitable for the farmers who are having a very limited number of uh, land resources. Even though some advantages are, are there, some of the disadvantages also there in the monoculture practice. 
the natural productivity of the bond is complete not completely utilized because uh, we are culturing only a single species of uh, species in monoculture method it may be a surface feeder or a column feeder or a bottom feeder so uh, the species are not completely utilizing all the resources available in the bond or a tank next uh, the available space in water column is also not utilized by the species and there are there is more uh, chances uh, for the episodic diseases and the parasitic infections and also more risk of the water quality problems uh, like uh, dissolved oxygen depletion because uh, we if we are culturing uh, uh, surface feeder means it cannot uh, use the bottom sources so the decomposed matter and the remaining feeds are there uh, in the bottom itself after the, so it uh, reduce the dissolved oxygen level by means of the decomposition then polyculture in polyculture system when all the in more than one species or cultured in an aquatic environment is referred as the polyculture in polyculture system the practice of culturing more than one species in the same pond itself um, then the success of the polyculture is uh, mainly depends on the synergism uh, and the food availability the, here the synergism that is the interaction or the cooperation between the two species is uh, referred as the synergism a combination of species with a different food habits uh, will be uh, used in a uh, polyculture system because considering the optimal use of the natural food items which are available in the water bodies the fishes with uh, different uh, feeding habits are stocked in the same environment or uh, like a pond or a uh, tank then they will utilize all the resources which are found in that uh, aquatic medium uh, for example plankton feeders herbivores bottom feeders omnivorous fishes and even piscivorous fishes are cultured in the in case of the polyculture system they are cultured in a single pond this will increase the production then the mixture of the fishes which give better utilization of the available natural food sources which are produced in the pond and at a different depth uh, so as a result of this the fishes will utilize uh, all the environmental food resources so the higher yield can also be obtained next to the basic required characteristic features of the fishes to be selected for uh, polyculture systems are as follows uh, they should uh, have different feeding habits the fishes are selected for a polyculture practice must have different feeding habits so otherwise they will compete uh, for their food source with the other species so the for example selecting uh, herbivores or um, omnivores or the surface feeders bottom feeders so with the different feeding habits uh, the fishes will not compete uh, for the um, cells with the for their food sources next the selected species should occupy different ecological niches like micro habitat so they will be remain in their habitat itself so they will not compete or so their role will not compete with the other species next the selected species should attain the marketable size at the same period of time so it will helps in the harvesting of the species at the same time itself next the fishes uh, should tolerate with each other if they are uh, not tolerating with each other means it will not it will be uh, making competitive competition with themselves so the species uh, should tolerate with each other and they should be non predatory if they are predatory fishes or that means they will, the in polyculture system they will compete or they will feed upon other species so it will completely affect the polyculture system
Let's see what are all the fishes, uh, uh, combination of fishes to be cultured in a polyculture system. First one is the plankton feeder. The plankton is the most plentiful food source which is available in the pond and it is essential to be include a plankton feeding uh, fishes in the polyculture system. Uh, this type of uh, fishes uh, feeds on the phytoplanktons and zooplanktons. They will be multiplied abundantly in the fertilized pond. For example, silver carp and big head carp are a uh, best example for the plankton feeders. In polyculture system, the herbivorous fishes are also introduced to, to uh, feed upon the aquatic plants. Uh, they will feed on the aquatic vegetation, especially the aquatic uh, plants like grasses or the microalgae, etc. Uh, the, for example, grass carp, that is uh, Tino peringoda nidella, is one of the notable species which feed on the aquatic plants. So, it is, for this behavior, they are uh, stocked in the pond for the controlling of uh, weeds. type of fish is the bottom feeder. Uh, these fishes feeds uh, primarily at the pond bottom. They consume a variety of decaying organic matter, aquatic organisms which are living in the pond bottom like uh, clams, insects, uh, worms, snail and some bacteria. For example, common carp that is Cyprinus carpheo is one of the best example for the bottom feeder. And next one is the omnivorous feeder. These fishes feed on insects, larvae, molluscan, snail, worms, as well as the aquatic vegetation. An example, mrigal, that is Sirhina cirrhosis, is a typical example of the omnivorous species. Uh, next type is the Visiorus fishes. These fishes are uh, mainly used for controlling the carnivorous fishes in, an, uh, in a pond culture uh, like uh, African catfish and sea boss that is lattice calcarifer are the best Visiorus fishes to be cultured in a pond polyculture system. Uh, then the advantages of uh, polyculture. In, in this polyculture system, the complete utilization of the feeding niches is possible and the full utilization of the spaces available in the water column is also utilized by the fishes and the full utilization of the compatibility of the species and full utilization of the artificial feeds we are uh, sponsoring to the fishes. And less, there is less chances to the fail of these enterprises. And a variety of products are available in the market by means of polyculture system. So different variety of fishes can be available. And it makes more economic return than when compared to the monoculture under the same condition of culturing practice. Uh, it plays an ecological role in maintaining the water quality because uh, in polyculture system variety of species like uh, surface feeder, bottom feeder, column feeder, piscivorous, uh, uh, weed control fishes or culturing in the same pond. So the it, they, all the fishes can utilize all the uh, available uh, substances so the water quality is maintained properly. And there is also less chances for the episodic diseases as well as the parasites. The disadvantages of a polyculture system is it is difficult to harvest the different variety of species in a polyculture and it is also difficult to maintain the food for all the species because all the species are having different food feeding habit. And there is a need for high technical knowledge in the polyculture system. So I think uh, all have some clear vision about the monoculture and polyculture system in aquaculture practices uh, and their advantages and disadvantages. And thank you for watching.